Welcome aboard. I'm Captain Jake, and we're back with another episode of Field of Glory 2 Medieval. This game was developed by Byzantine Games and published by Slytherin. I'd like to welcome everyone back and welcome in all new subscribers. Well, last time we lost the second battle, and because we lost two in a row, we were not able to move on with that campaign. The closest thing we could do would be to restart it, which we weren't going to do. So uh, we researched a new campaign, and surprisingly enough, it is the second one on the list here. So um, let's just take it was a Byzantine. So let's take a uh, read of what we have here. We have Elixius. Close enough, the first, uh, oh, all these names I can't pronounce. Komenos, close enough, was a Byzantine emperor from 1081 to 1118 AD. In, seven, in 1071, the Byzantines under the emperor, uh, oh, I guess Romulus, or uh, Ramius, the fourth, uh, Diogenes suffered a decisive, decisive feat by the, what was this called, them, Turks at the Battle of, oh man, Masquerade in eastern modern uh, Turkey. Over the following decade, the Turks gradually overran much of the Anatolia, modern Asiatic Turkey. The soldier emperor throughout his 27 year reign. Uh, Alexos, despite many setbacks, successfully defeated the remainder of the empire against, defended the remainder of the empire against the Italian Normans, uh, Pagnegs, oh, Cumans, and Turks, and partially due to the First Crusade, which resulted from his call for mercenaries, which resulted from his call for mercenaries from the West, reconquering much lost territory in Western uh, Antolia. Well, Antolia. Antolia, I think would be the correct pronunciation, but don't, don't count me on that one. So that's what we're gonna try. We're gonna try that one. And it just happened to be the second one on the list. So what the heck? I was researching various um, campaigns to do over that period and looking for an early one. So this seemed to be a very early one. So that's what we'll uh, we'll do here. We already kind of read all of this, so we're not going to reread it again. But if we look at the, there's Asia Minor, Asia Major, Liberia. Must be various kingdoms marked. So, difficulty remains static throughout the campaign. Aside from effects of losses, uh, difficult level scales up by one level overall between the first and last battles of the campaign. Not one level per battle. Well, we're going to say static this time. Oh, okay, we were static last time too because <laughs> we had butts handed to us. So, let's go ahead and create this. So here we're going to offer battle in 1078 by 1074. Alexos was a general under the Emperor Michael VII Ducas, dealing with the rebel Norman mercenary, mercenary uh, Rasol de Balu in in Polia, modern Asiatic Turkey. In 1078, the two generals, uh, Napoleus in the Balkans and Napoleus in uh, Antolio, simultaneously revolted against Michael VII. This guy reached Continental first. Michael VII abdicated and retired to a monastery. They all seem to either go to monasteries or die. Uh, this guy was crowned emperor as uh, 
Nike Pros III, he appointed uh, Alexos, General of the Army of the West, and sent him against uh, Nike Polius, who remained in revolt. The armies met at uh, Kalviv in Thrace, modern European Turkey. Okay. Stage one of eight. Let's see how we do. We're going to offer battle and create a um, map for us to fight on. And last time I took the default troops. I think we're going to try to do that again this time. So, uh, I'm just hoping... Uh, and but basically it's a Byzantine war, it's Byzantine versus Byzantine, and the same requirements, turn 1 of 24, we have 23 remaining. So here, we have uh, our cost, and here's the number of points, increase force, and decrease force so if I do auto fill and auto deploy we're gonna try that we're just gonna see how they do against this and auto deploy yes we have that selected auto fill and auto deploy I'm guessing points that must be what we're doing auto fill and auto deploy so I guess we'll close. Oh, okay. There we go. Auto fill and auto deploy. And then we will take a look at what our forces are here momentarily. So let's accept. Okay, we're in deployment mode which I do believe we can't do it. Okay, we can't still do it, but we uh, auto-deployed, so. No. Move this guy back to here, thank you, okay. All right, so you're in deployment mode, you can drag, and when we click end our turn, so. Nope, don't wanna name the units. If we can get our map turned here a little bit. Well, let's zoom out. Get our map turned. No, not that way. This way. Okay. So let's look at the map. What we have here. Okay, we have this river impassable to land troops. But we can't get across here. And there's the enemy front line. So let's see what we got going on here back here. We have our axe, which are uh, well armored, heavy weapons. That's good. I like that. And that's the general in charge of them. Okay. Then what do we have here? And for the next sub general, there he is. Okay, and these are Lancers. This is Sub General, and they're Swordsmen. Oh, wow, we do have quite a few of them. That's good. Steady Cavalry above average. Okay, we'll keep out of that. We have another General here, which is in charge of. Oh, that's our Commander Chief. Mounted Knightly Lancers, Swordsmen. Okay. And we have our Lancers here. Okay, these guys are apparently not assigned to anyone in particular. I don't see a general over here. All right, we have Light Archers. It's all of our Light Archers. We have here more Light Archers. And then we have light horse archers. All right. And let's see. These are 
foot soldiers. Don't know why I got these are light archers and these are horse archers. All right. Don't know why I would want to deploy him there. Okay. Now I could understand the light archers in here, but the horses are severely uh, severely disorders mounted heavy or determined foot disorders others except for light so we're going to we'll uh, do a little uh, scouting we're gonna this bit a strong center here i can see why they got light archers here light javelin five turns we got two of those on that side Let's do this. Let's deploy this guy here. And these are the Lancers. And let's deploy this guy over here. Okay, so we got light archers here and then these archers. Well, we're not going. We're not going through the woods. That's for darn sure. So, since we don't have to capture and we want to route, I'm gonna think. Okay, they can only be deployed there. Ancient servants. And our heavy axemen, which we need to move up slowly. Okay, good. I think that'd be a good deployment. Can't can't tell for sure. But we're the loyals against the rebels. Okay. Turn and turn. All right. The enemies turn as they deploy. Right. So let's see. What do we see here? We have light horse archers, horse. Okay, they have lights and they have light archers also. What do we have here? They have lancers, horse archers, lancers. That's what we can see so far. don't see their commanding general, I don't believe he's a sub-general. Oh, there he is. Okay, these are the horse archers. In the open ground, okay. Let's take all of these guys and move forward. These guys could get decimated here. Why do they look like they got more troops than we do? All right. I'm going to move these guys this way. Let's turn the whole group. really disordered because he moves through the trees yeah, as we suspected he would be all right so we move those up now what we're going to do is this guy let's see if I can get them to envelop oh, oh. 
just want to move that single unit. If I can move him. Well, we can move him here. No reason to send him that direction. Alright, so we'll split these guys off here and keep these guys in the center and wait for our archers to get within range. So let's make sure that we got line of sight and range. Alright. And make sure we have all those turned on. Okay. And this guy, we can see what they can see here. These guys can not see. So let's move. Move into there. Now you can see all of those guys, and we're hid in the woods here. But I want to move him over to here. I just don't want him to be disordered. He can be severely disordered as he moves through the woods. So we've done that. Let's see here. I think we're good. Don't think we need to worry about who we need anyone else for that. See what they do. They didn't move. They didn't do anything. Hmm. I'm confused. All right. Just want to make sure the command range is correct. Okay, good. Lancers, Lancers, wait a minute, and Arches, okay. Alright, now this guy, we're going to move. No. He's now steady. Yeah. Okay, gonna have them come up there, and now we we'll take these guys, and we are moving forward. And I, I'm redeploying basically because these guys aren't doing anything. All right. Well, I'd say that's the end of my turn. I'm not moving these guys. These guys are hidden in the woods. And 
Yeah, no. Horse archers, horse archers. I have here. Like horse archers. Those are just horse archers, okay? These are just horse archers, and these should all be light. Alright, that's good. Make sure these guys are uh, lancers and archers. Good. Good mix. Good mix, okay. Hmm. Well, I'm going to just see what they do. See no reason to proceed on until I see exactly what they are going to do. And hear somebody moving, but I don't see anybody moving. Wow. Mm hmm. Am I, am I the attacking force? I don't know. Okay. Let's see how many people are in this group. 183. Uh, all right. And they are not. Ready? Probably going to have to pull these guys separately. All right. I want these guys to come up to the center. Okay, so these guys are archers. These are the light archers, and these are the horse archers. Okay. Archers. Okay, this is a uh, heavy foot. We got archers. Should be heavy foot, heavy foot. Axe. Heavy foot. Defense. Defense. Heavy weapons. Defense. Defense. Okay. Okay. I will move on here. I don't know what they're going to do next. Okay, looks like I got to put down the rebels. So, all right, well, let's let's uh, scout with this guy. That's because I can't see here. I move him up. Just want to see what is over there. Same with this one. move him. What is this one? All right, my sub-general. I'm going to move him up.
light javelin, open ground, and light archers. I pass through those guys. Oh, the javelin can shoot. Okay, that's a heavy foot. So let's get these guys out the way so I can get maneuvered. Okay, so I got archers here, got lancers and lancers, so I want to move, move him to here. Alright, so now let's get these, these guys are archers, these are masked archers, defensive. These are masked archers. archers. Now, what will that cause? Okay, they're not light foot. So, I'm going to keep them out. And the question is, where should I put those guys? Let's see what I got here. That's a stream in here. Well, a lot of people. I'm not used to having such large units. After the last campaign where I had such light units. Alright, so now I just want to see what we got here. Three. Three brown. Alright, they do have some large units back there also. Yeah, they're not overly small units either. Okay, so now. So now let's see what we can do with this guy. Move them there. This guy. Let's see where I can move him first. Archers on the flanks and get my lancers in the center. Okay, that'll work. These guys are all waiting to fire. Light, 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 light. So I want to see if I can hit these light guys. These are light horse archers. Then here we have cavalry, lancers, and swords. Okay. I'm going to say that would be it for now.
See if they move at all. If they don't move, that means we're definitely the attacking force. Nada. And they have deployed and they are happy where they are, apparently. All right, well, I want to definitely see what I can't see right now. So, I see nothing, so... I'm going to keep these archers right behind them, what it should allow is for me to, uh, when they, let's say, not retreat, but uh, evade, I should be able to use that to my advantage. All right. guys up don't want to do that right now so let's go ahead and move them up to here right which is what I wanted to do so now I have my light horse archers and these are lights 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 they're all light, okay. I'm going to hit him with the light first. here All right now I have my lancers here making sure I keep in mind Lancers on open ground so they'll get disordered. All right. Hey, these guys can move up. They're unseen currently. him out is going to be seen so we'll just move him up one all right I think we moved everybody that we want to move currently yes all right well there we go next turn a lot of posturing not a lot of battle that's okay oh here we go Can't believe they charged. 
even we are talking that we are hmm Ouch! Really? All right, well, we're gonna... We're gonna see if... Well... Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Let's see here. All right. What do we manage? Draw. Lose. This guy. Can't shoot at him. Right. Who we have here? Hmm. Damn it! I didn't think they would go that deep into the. They didn't evade. Oh, we got disrupted. Holy crap! How did we lose that many? Understand that we lost that many. Okay, we still under command. Can't believe that we even got disrupted. Okay, that means I'm gonna take that kind of damage from them, but what do I have here? I wanna see. That's the commander in chief. Down some. Interesting. Right. Uh, let's see what has he got back here. Defensive spearmen, okay. Well, like I did last time, we're going to try to hit their main guy. Even though it didn't seem to have much of an effect last last 
battle, our last campaign. Alright, since we are the attackers, Oh, crap. See what happens. Can't believe that unit got disrupted. Uh, close combats, bow and swordsman, and they're against less numbers. All right. All right. We'll end our turn here. Let's see what happens. Uh-huh. They're moving up. That's what I figured they would do. Oh, they rode up further. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Ooh. Oh, look at all the pretty flags. Interesting. But they're back to us. Surprising. Oh well. We drove into the middle of them like a bo doofus. I'm going to charge that next group and run off with them. You don't get slaughtered. Elfer. All right, boys. Took 12 hits, so held firm again. Mm hmm. Be shooting in the woods. Oh, they still hit for 10? Hmm, interesting. Alright, well, these guys, we will do that after I shoot, so we will shoot, uh, oh yes, lots of damage, love to see that, turn and fire, going to all right so now yes breaks and routed now this guy Can't charge, huh? And charge this guy. I think that's what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Yeah, not good because I'm such a small unit. Now, before I do that, let's see if I can make... Make something else happen here. Yep, let's charge this guy. All right. Now, this guy. Charge that. Good. 
good. That's exactly what I wanted to have happen. shot on him. Good. Okay. Disrupted. Now this guy. Twelve. Twelve and eighteen. Okay. Well, we hit that one. Only nine. So now. is not the uh, okay but is the range oh, I don't want these guys coming down <laughs> on my butt this guy's turned but what does that happen? Yeah, they definitely lose just because I don't want them. Let's just check and see. What do we have here? We have Lancers. 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 Okay, Horse Artillery. Horse Artillery. Wow, okay. Horse Archers. Okay, so let's go to... Go to here because they have to turn. They have to turn. Okay, let's go here. And now I should be able to fire. I'll take it. So I go here. Fire at him, can fire at him. There we go. Defensive guys up to here. All right, now we got our answers. Hmm. Not sure what the late means, but. how these guys break out. Ok, 
Okay, these these guys should be able to shoot over. I think I like that. Defensive spearmen lagging behind a little bit. So, all right. Well, we're uh, just about out of time, but we always allow them their last turn. Then we'll cover what we're going to be doing here. Our melee, help firm. They're routing. These guys in danger trying to get to him. about broken. Oh good, our guys were allied. Yay! Alright, so let's take a look at our battlefield here. Right now, over here, we got this melee. I think we're about ready to route this unit. Yeah, this unit's in good shape. We are making a little bit of uh, hurt based on numbers, but uh, we did route a unit why we're up two points so we'll keep hitting this side I think he left this side a little light but I don't know for sure so we'll wait and see general has yet engaged with his archers which these guys really haven't moved yet but we got a uh, commander in the open we got some troops back here that are not in good position but if they get attacked they should evade that's what I'm hoping. So we're going to shoot these guys and possibly move here for a rear attack, which would be great. And then what we have here, we have some uh, Lancers coming up and we should, we have Lancers here. So we should be able to hit these guys from the side uh, and uh, hurt them with some uh, arrow shots because they kind of move this guy out on the flank all by himself or out in the open all by himself. But that will be for next time. Let's go ahead and uh, save here. And uh, let's see. What do we do? We'll just call it the Byzantine. I may rename it after I remember who the uh, guy's name is that we're fighting. So, all right. Thing. We'll go back to the main menu here. 
hopefully you've enjoyed the, today's uh, battle. Um, yeah, don't know really if it's going good or bad uh, right now, but uh, we're two percent better than they are, so we'll take it after our uh, resounding defeat uh, last campaign. So that will be it for today, and as always, I am Captain Jake, wishing you fair winds and following seas. Until next time.